back guys, it's Taco, and today we will be making a sourdough baguette. And I decided to make another one because I love baguettes. I had it in Italy, Paris, and it's one of my best friend's favorites. So I decided to make it. And here are the ingredients. 810 grams of water, 300 grams of sourdough starter, 1,125 grams of bread flour, and 25 grams of salt. So, 810 grams of water. Wait, don't get ahead of yourself. You first come over here. You have to turn on the scale machine. And now you can find it. And I got exactly 810 grams. Oh, I hate to just waste this water into that sink. Anyway, okay, so um, come over here. You have to push tear. Next item on the list, about 300 grams of sourdough soda. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. It's not really getting a lot, so now we have the easy way to do it is just go like that. Oh, okay. 103. 196. Zero, it's floating. That's how you know it's ready. 301, almost exact. But now you have to dissolve it. Well, not dissolve it, well, just like mix it. So. The floating starter. It feels so good. When I put it in my hand at the bottom, I can't really feel the starter because it's above it. It's so cool. Look at it now. It's liquid. Now I can feel it. <laughs> it's not floating starter anymore. It's just like, I'll just call it the liquid starter. So now you need 1,125 grams of bread flour. So you can use OO flour, which I use to make pizza. So my baguette is gonna be a little bit lighter. Actually, not just OO flour. I'm gonna do a combination of OO flour and uh, regular bread flour. But I'm gonna just do half and half. I'm gonna use a spatula. I prefer to use it. Wow. This is why my parents call me a miracle. So I put half of the OO flour, which is 562 and a half. Now I'm gonna put bread flour. Try not to spill. Okay, it, now it's perfect. One, look, 1,125 exactly. Look, it kind of looks like Mount Everest. Next, I need to put 25 grams of salt. So now I need to push tail. And now and I need to put the salt and then I'm gonna mix it up. Ah, why do I need to use this tiny spoon? Wait on, four. I'll just use a little bit of the big spoon. That's a lot of salt. Se se 16 and 20, a little bit more like this. 24, 26, almost perfect. And now I just need to mix it up. Oh, it feels so good, OMG. This is my favorite. Okay, now this is my favorite. Look at our dough now. Isn't it beautiful? So what we are going to want to do is put a towel over it and come back about every 30 minutes and um, flip and flop. And so that's what makes the air come in. And that's also when we bake it, that creates the bubbles. Every um, half hour, uh, we're gonna flip and flop over it. And um, we're gonna do that for about three hours. 
So let's get started. Let's put the towel and um, see you in 30 minutes. Now it's time to flip and flop the door dough. Wow, look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, so now, so come over here. You have to wet your hands. Don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. And now, um, so you grab one side. So flip, flip, and fold. Flip and fold. <clears throat> flip and fold. <sighs> okay, um, so now just wash your hands again and uh, leave it for 30 minutes. Okay, and also don't forget to put the towel over. I forgot that. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's see what we got. Wow. Okay, it's fold and flop. So uh, you have to wet your hands. Don't dry them, and actually, um, first you have to go like this, fold, one, fold two, and fold three. I forgot this, um, you have to go like this, under, scoop underneath on both sides and just pull it straight up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on, I just need a, yep, come on, come on, and then flop, <sighs> well, you have to pull it all the way up, I didn't really do it though, so, okay, I wish I had four hands, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, please, please, okay, Oh no! <laughs> it fell apart! No! No! Well, that's okay. I'm just being dramatic. No! My hard work! Okay, let's go. <laughs> Again! <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, we had to put the towel back over and I'll uh, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been another 30 minutes. Let's see what we got. It's, well, I don't, I'm just being dramatic. It's really, it's kind of holy to me, so. Okay, so let's get fluffing and fluffing. So let's do it again. 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 And then, I really hope this does not fall apart. Ah, oh my gosh. Uh, 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 okay. okay, and then and, and then flip 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 and then mm, scoop all the way under and then you might need someone to hold the bow Ball. Oh my god, I'm doing it! Yay! Finally! Ha! 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 Okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands. So now you have to put the towel back on and see you in 30 minutes. Bye! So it's been another 30 minutes. Oh! Okay. Yay! And so let's flip. Oh my god, that feels so good. Flip. I mean, sorry, fold. Fold. And now I can finally flip. Let's grab. All the way up. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, okay. Yeah, I saved it from falling apart. Okay, now flip. Let's do it again. Fold. Fold. Fold and now flip. Okay, let's go up. Oh god. Okay, come on, come on. And 
Yep. Okay. No. <laughs> wow. This stuff is really sticky, so wow, be careful. Okay, um so see you in another 30 minutes. Wait! I had to like cover it. Don't don't uh, don't not cover it, okay? Okay, let's check on our dough. Oh my gosh, there are already bubbles. Um we got those bubbles from the flip and fold and all that stuff. Told you it was good. Okay, um, so we're going to leave this overnight in the fridge and to leave it for men. That gives the sourdough taste. Okay, now we have to put plastic wrap over it. So, and so you have to go like this, stretch it. And then, I think a little bit farther. Okay, that'll do the trick. And then, um... Then you have to cut it. Hold on, make sure it's a clear path. But also like, trip. Voila, there it is. Now, ugh. with the dough, try not to pop any bubbles. Um, you have to make a space in your refrigerator and leave it overnight. And it'll ferment. And uh, see you tomorrow morning. I'll bake it tomorrow morning. Bye. So it's the next morning, and let's um, take the dough out of the refrigerator. It's heavy. Wow, look at that. <gasps> wow. So we're going to leave it here for about an hour, and... Um, we have to put a towel on it, not like that paper wrap. We don't need that anymore. So now we're going to preheat the oven to about uh, 475 degrees. Turn on bake. So 475 degrees. So oven is hot now. So what we're going to do is put some flour. So now what, what you want to do is um, use your hands and scoop the dough out onto the flour. Well, onto the cutting board, which has flour. And done. Now we're going to put some flour on top of the dough. And then we're kind of like going to shape it. Like that, using the dough cutter. Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. Oh, oh my precious. Okay, now you kind of like need to shape it into the ball. Beautiful. Now, what you want to do is like cut it in half. Okay, and now we're gonna shape each one of these into a ball. Okay, there we go. So now I made this into a circle. And so, uh, what you want to do to make this into a circle is find the smooth side. So, kind of like... Uh. There's the smooth side. Now I got two beautiful buns. So now you need to cut it in three equal pieces, like fractions. That's what I just learned in school. So to make it easier, you might want to like kind of like this to help you know where to cut, right there. And so I... Be careful, the, um, the dough cutter is really sharp. And make sure it's actually equal pieces. Or else it won't turn out as good. Okay. 
So first part done, second part. Right there, three equal pieces. I finally found the equal pieces. You have to like, it's kind of hard to like spread them apart. Oh, gee. To help you like spread them apart, what you have to do is get another cutting board, put one on another side, and bring the other ones right here so you don't have to worry about them like sticking together when you're like making it. Two separate classes. Okay. There you go. The teacher, me, and my twin brother. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to shape it into baguettes. So what you want to do is like create it into like a rectangle like I got right here. And now what you want to do is like close the sides in. Then the, um, close the rest of the sides in. And then um, create and then pinch uh, these sides together like seams and carefully and quickly turn it over. Now you want to make surface tension. You're probably wondering what surface tension? You want to like um, close the seams, like, tighten the seams. Okay and now you put the baguettes on this tray it's beautiful look at that and really soft the second one you can make them as long as you want so i'm gonna make this one kind of long he's not really walking he doesn't really want to go long okay now <laughs> you have to go like this 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 well you don't have to make you can't make it long right now but you you actually can but i'm just gonna teach you an easy way okay so you need to make surface tension now and then now put it right here okay uh, now let's make another one um so i'm just gonna like stretch it out and then then pull the sides in First, remember, first, the sides, then the top, then the the bottom. And fill in the steams and stick, stick. And then flip it over. And then create surface tension. And voila! And I'll do the rest. So it's now time to score the beautiful bread. If you're a kid, then have an adult help you. We, remember, we want to score the bread because we want the air to come in and let it rise. It's going to be like this. Scoring the bread is really, really important. So, um, what do you want to do if your kid didn't let a parent help you? You need to put the rack on, um, in the oven at 475 degrees and for 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes, we're going to lower it down to 450 degrees for another 20 minutes. Now we're going to turn the temperature down. So we're going to turn it down to 450 degrees. And um, let's take a peek. Oh my god. Remember, you have to turn the rack around. And look at that. And see you again in another 20 minutes. Now it's time to open the oven. And if you're a kid and have an adult to help you, let's just turn it off. Okay. Oh wow, it's really hot. Look at that. Now we're going to take the baguettes off of the tray and put it on the cooling rack. That's going to be hard work. 
Mmm, something smells good. Oh, yay. Carter, can you help me put these on the the beautiful baguettes on the growing mat? Sure. I'm going to start with my first one. It's heavy, but look at how yummy and beautiful that one is. Wow, look at this. <laughs> and look at these air holes right here. Ooh, I'm going to just take the fattest one and this one together. Oh my god, it smells so good. How did you make this in one day? I'm surprised. Make sure to subscribe. Are you proud of me, Carter? Yep. And comment down below how good this looks. Now we're going to let this cool and then we're going to cut it. Carter, out of 10 out of 10, uh... I'm sorry, 1 to 10, how do you think that looks? 11. How do you think it would taste? 11. <laughs> Thank you, Carter. So we're going to butter it right now. I'm excited. Just grab a little piece of butter. Yeah, I'll just take this piece. I'll, I'm just going to grab my own knife. I feel like the middle is the best because it has more heat in it and it has more air bubbles, which I call it. <laughs> oh Can my gosh, it? the inside looks so beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. Welcome, Carter. What do you think the taste is? One out of ten. What is that? This is so good. Yeah. You see the flower left behind? That makes it look better for me. This is so good. Oh my god. Well, hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.